I just got my freeze dryer installed. I installed it. Now we're watching the timer. It's at 8.56. I think it's or 8.39 now. If it gets down to 500, then that means this has been a successful install. There's not a single leak. The pump is completely doing its job. So this is the unit. I'll zoom out a little bit so you can see it. I found a perfect stand for it at the time when I was setting it up off of Craigslist. Perfect bedroom stand that actually fits heavy duty oak. That works perfect. And we are down to 704. We're down to 695. 87. Very important that the freeze dryer reaches the 500 or below. If it does not reach the 500 below, then the setup is, prop is not proper. But if it does, it means it's pulling a vacuum. And that's good. So far we're at 620 and we're dropping. 612, 69, 606. So it says to get better the performance, so if you get lower than 500 m tor, then you've, su you've successfully set this up. So we're just going to sit there and try to see it. When the camera gets at the right spot, there we go. Oh, look at that. If it needs 500, I did it. Come on, baby. That means I am completely successful in sealing the unit, making it work. Anything lower than 500 means it acts beyond excellent, according to the book. Oh, wow. Oh, I did it. Beautiful setup. I'm down to 483, 481, 477. Wow, what kind of vacuum am I going to pull? I'm going to write down the maximum vacuum that I pull. 458, 457. Oh my god, that is sealed. I'll just let it sit. 454. 454 M Tor. 453, 452. I'd say we've done it. I'd say by George, I think he's got it. Make sure I've got things set up right. So this is my harvest right. My brand new freeze dryer. Get up down to the pump. It comes down to the pump system that's down here. The oil is very important that you set the oil at the level. And it is at that level. Even has a drawer. Works perfect for mylar bags and all my stuff. And also when you're setting up the freeze dryer, you want to make sure it's a higher up in the in the front. That way, that way when you drain it with the drain valve in the back, it goes down. The water will not come out the front. We're down to 390, 388, 386. Oh wow, we're pulling a vacuum that is so strong. I mean, it says in the book if you get 500 doing a great job. So we let this run for less than 10 minutes. So when the vacuum pump first turns on, it says eventually the pressure will go down 5 or 4 and possibly lower. If you see that, this is the case. It means that your freeze dryer has been set up properly and you are ready to start your first batch. Okay, all well, quick start guys. You sure there are no things? So we are just seeing how far she'll go down. I mean, oh wow.
eighth. 349 and still going down. It is pulling such a vacuum on it. Anything above, anything below 500 m tor means it's a success. But if it goes lower, it means you've got a great seal. I mean, you've got a great vacuum. In fact, the pressure is incredible. And I'm still just waiting to see what it does. I mean, I really don't know what kind of pressure that I'm going to... I am going to stop because I am at, the, at that location. At least I know it's dropping. I don't want it to dry the thing. So the process is complete. Open the drain valve to vent. If the product is dry, remove and select defrost. Select more drive time if needed. Alright, so we're going to go open the vent. Like it says to do. Uh, I didn't have a bucket for it yet, so we're gonna have to. Uh, we're gonna have to open this up and use this old bucket that's actually in here. All right, so we've now got this in here. We're using this old bucket that I actually had in here for that reason. We're now opening the valve. Frost needed. So it pulled a great vacuum. Incredible. Pressures open. Let me see. Pull this out. Wow. That thing is warm. That is so warm to the touch. Whew, I'd say I did it. Yeah, there's not a single bit of moisture. The tube is, this part is freezing cold, but yet the trays are hot to the touch. So there's no defrosting needed. We're just gonna let it cool down. And that is the complete success of my harvest ray. If you have any questions or anything, feel free to leave me a comment below. And I'll be starting to use this thing soon. I got the four tray one, the standard. I thought the small one was just maybe too small. And uh, yeah, it's very important that you put it on something solid. I will recommend that. I tried to put it on a table before, and it <clears throat> and I heard the table like creaking and stuff and I said no I don't want to lose a $2,500 investment so I put it on a solid table little tiny nightstand that actually fit perfect I couldn't believe the time Friday the 13th all complete but of course Friday the 13th is my luckiest day of the year because I've got to have at least one day everybody else gets every other day so that's when everything goes right and then this down here is their freeze. I haven't begun to do that. That's a packaging system to to put them in the Mylar packages. I bought the kit complete, so it came with everything everything needed. Extra bags. I mean, if I go in here and open this up, you can see that they came out with tons of bags, different sizes, tons of oxygen absorbers. What I do recommend is getting yourself if you can if you can you know on your budget is getting yourself the clear bags the ones that with the vac that put a vacuum on and suck out the air that way you can tell if uh food is going to have any moisture in it or or uh what do you call it spoil in case you didn't do it long enough because the only way to know <laughs> sad enough is sometimes the food just doesn't 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 totally dry out on certain occasions if the meat is really thick it may take a little longer so if it takes a little longer it's always good to use those sealed bags because then you can put that in the freezer or whatnot or leave it out 
and see if it starts molding in a few days. If not, that's fine. I mean, the bag is just temporary. You can leave it in there, or you can put it in another bag and seal it properly for the long term. Now, if you notice, the oil level, it will register a little bit low because it's all draining back into the system. Because I do not have a single leak. Because you can see the tube, it is like crystal, crystal clear. So that tells me no, no pressures, no anything are going in there. So once again, I'll zoom out and I'll show the whole thing. This is my Harvest Right freeze dryer. I put the bike, yeah. I'm still organizing, just moved in, trying to get stuff moved out of the way and find room for all these additional things. So that will, this will conclude the video. This is a big thick piece of glass, or plastic. It says harvest right, harvest right right on it. It's a very beautiful design. I mean, I mean, I'd say it's it's so shiny and it's so there's all sorts of different colors, but I chose this color. The only thing I'm trying to get them to do is get rid of this brown pad that they give. The uh, you put it inside. It's your sealer pad because I wanted black. I mean, let's admit if you think that doesn't, you know. I myself don't think that blue and brown with black around it really look really good, but a black one would look great. And that's what they showed that they had, but I got a brown one. So I'm in contact with them, seeing what I can do. Well, again, that's the, uh, the Harvest Right freeze dryer. All set up and explained. All tightened up. And don't forget, every time you use your harvest right, you've got to drain a, a cup, I mean not a cup, a teaspoon of oil from the bottom and put a teaspoon up the top. But I recommend if you're going to do that, you might as well just, if you, have a, if you have a drain, if you have one of the filters, just drain it all. Get rid of all the water and pour it back in. It only takes a few minutes. Then you don't have to worry about the pump. The pump gets complete health. And, you know, you have no issues. Because that's what I'm going to do every time. I'll probably just read, I'll just let it all drain out and put it back. That way I know I have no water in the system at all. And it even runs better than it should ever run. If you have any questions or comments, you know, or ideas, because I will be starting to freeze dry stuff for my first time. And anything helps. I'm not 100% sure yet, but I think I'm going to go with the strawberries, the bananas, the fruits. You know, the good things that you can add to your cereal and stuff in the morning. Those are the things I want. And ice cream. Everybody's got to have freeze-dried ice cream. Well, I hope you enjoyed this video. And I'm signing off.